Hi guys, this is Lucia at Intero Houston Real Estate Services and this is Frankie Bonilla with Supreme Lending. And Frank is not just a loan officer, he was actually my loan officer five years ago when my husband and I bought our first home at 20 years old. We didn't have much of an idea what we needed to do to buy a house. We went with Frankie and he was very helpful. I decided to do a quick interview to answer some of you guys' questions that I received some, uh, through message and this is what I have. Um, the first question I have is what's the first step to buy your house? What you have to do first is consult a real estate agent, which will be me. Um, after that, I will give you some steps that we need to follow to get you to your house. One of them would be to go with Frankie. And what happens when they go to your Frankie? Uh, we are going to get him pre-qualified or pre-approved. Um, ask him a few questions, uh, bring around credit. We're going to uh, see uh, how much they can buy and what closing costs you need and uh, interest rate. I have the next question is, if is there a beneficial program such as down payment assistance for first time home buyers? Yes, there is programs uh, for first time home buyers and for existing, existing owners uh, that you can take advantage of for down payment and closing costs or use it for both. So yes, there is programs that you can take advantage of. For people that qualify? Yes. Okay, perfect. The third question is, what documents do I need to get pre-approval? So uh, basic information, W-2s uh, for the past two years, tax returns for the past two years, uh, uh, pay stubs for the past 30 days, uh, bank statements to show that you have your funds for closing, but if you qualify for down payment assistance, then you might not need that. So the next question I have is, what does my credit score need to be like to get approved? Okay, so we need if we go down to 580, 584, okay. okay, but depending on the program, it might be higher than 580, uh, go even down to 500, 504. For some But programs. for some programs that if you qualify. How much does debt impact uh, the chances of me getting approved? It's really cr uh, critical uh, on the debt that you have because you could, uh, depending on the debt, if you have a, a higher debt, your power, your buying power will be less. Even though you're making uh, okay money, if you have a lot of debt, then you don't have room to be able to purchase. So the less debt you have, the more buying power. So I would recommend to you any big purchases, uh, cars. To, to any cars or anything like that, not to do it until you buy a house. Okay, perfect. The next question that I have is, if my partner makes more money than me, but I have more credit, uh, which one will be used? Uh, it actually, actually, for the government, we have to go uh, by the middle score, okay. but the lowest middle score between both persons so if somebody has a high uh, FICO score the other person has a low FICO score we have to go with the lowest one okay so it don't matter if you have really good credit if your partner has lower then we would choose something in yes correct and I have another question uh, it says if I have a social by my partner doesn't can we buy a house yes it's possible we do have programs or there's programs out there that require more down payment and uh, it takes a little bit longer and it requires more documents but yes, it is possible. It is it. possible. And uh, one of the questions that I have uh, that I believe is very important um, is can DACA families buy a house? I love working with DACA families. I've done many, many, many deals with DACA families. Uh, and we have less waiting right now because those programs are on hold by the government. Okay. So I know they're working on it and we are hoping and praying that everything is gonna come back. So at this point, yes, it was possible. We've done many but we just gotta keep it hope up and and uh, you know to make sure they're gonna come back. Okay, but so it, it's, it, just it, on hold. it's possible, but it's on hold, yes. It's on hold. Okay. This is the last question I have. What happens after I get approved for a loan and we find a house, we put an offer. What happens to the loan? Once you offer gets accepted, the contract comes to us and what we do, it, it's a process. It's a process for about 30 days. Could be less than that. In that process, we're gonna order appraisal, we're gonna order everything that we need to order uh, that have to be done uh, for underwriting okay. and uh, once all this done and all this is, is clear then we set up a closing date okay and once we set up a closing date uh, and that day comes that will be it the end of this transaction well i hope this video was helpful for you guys and if you guys have any questions i will leave our contact information below all right well thank you guys for watching